Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1184 BC, today is the day the Greeks entered Troy using the Trojan horse. In 1704, the Boston Newsletter newspaper begins publishing today. In 1792, French army officer Claude Joseph Roger de Lisle composed the French national anthem. In 1800, the Library of Congress was officially founded, eventually becoming the largest library in the world. In 1801, the first performance of Joseph Haydn's oratorio, The Seasons, was today. In 1833, Jacob Everett and George Dolty patent the first soda fountain. In 1865, the fire alarm and police telegraph system began operation in San Francisco, California. In 1867, black demonstrators stage ride-ins on Richmond, Virginia streetcars. In 1877, the last federal troops occupying the U.S. South withdraw from New Orleans. In 1888, the Eastman Kodak Company is founded by George Eastman. In 1895, Joshua Slocum sets sail from Boston, Massachusetts on a solo around-the-world voyage. I bet he got lonely. In 1897, William Price of the Washington Star becomes the first reporter assigned to cover the White House. In 1901, in the first ever American League baseball game, the Chicago White Stockings win against the Cleveland Blues 8-2. In 1905, American novelist and poet Robert Penn Warren was born. In 1908, Mr. and Mrs. Jacob Murdoch are the first to travel across the U.S. by car. It takes them 32 days, 5 hours, 25 minutes. Too bad they couldn't put it on YouTube. In 1913, the Woolworth Building in New York City opens, making it the world's tallest building at the time. In 1915, the Ottoman Empire begins its systematic extermination of the Armenian people. They managed to kill over one million. Also in 1917, in baseball's Federal League, the Pittsburgh Rebels' Frank Allen no-hits the St. Louis Terriers 2-0. I just love those names. Look out, here comes the Terriers! In 1916, members of the Irish Volunteers and the Irish Citizen Army took control of strategic points in Dublin during what is called the Easter Rising. Also in 1916, Ernest Shackleton and five men try to organize a rescue for the ice-trapped ship Endurance in the Southern Ocean. In 1917, the U.S. Congress passes the Liberty Loan Act, authorizing the Treasury to issue bonds for World War I. In 1920, Polish troops attack Ukraine. Why won't people just leave Ukraine alone? In 1921, the Allies give the Tyrol area to Italy after World War I. In 1928, the Fathometer is patented. It measures underwater depth. In 1942, American entertainer Barbara Streisand is born. In 1945, Miles Davis makes his recording debut at Savoy Records Studio in Newark, New Jersey. In 1949, at the third Tony Awards, Death of a Salesman and Kiss Me Kate win. In 1950, Leonard Bernstein's musical Peter Pan, starring Gene Arthur and Boris Karloff, opens at the Imperial Theater in New York City and runs for 320 performances. In 1953, Winston Churchill is knighted by Queen Elizabeth II. In 1960, at the 14th Tony Awards, Miracle Worker and Fiorello win. Also in 1960, a massive earthquake strikes South Persia, killing 500 people. Persia is what we now call Iran. In 1961, U.S. President John F. Kennedy publicly accepts sole responsibility following the Bay of Pigs incident. Also in 1961, the Swedish warship Vasa, which sunk on her maiden voyage in 1628, is found and salvaged. In 1962, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology sends a TV signal by satellite for the first time. In 1967, Soviet cosmonaut Vladimir Komarov became the first man to die during a space mission. In 1968, Leftist students take over Columbia University in New York City. In 1969, Paul McCartney emphatically states that there is no truth to the rumors that he is dead. In 1974, the NFL grants a franchise to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 
In 1979, the U.S. state of Georgia designates the Ray Charles version of Hoagy Carmichael's song, Georgia On My Mind, as the official state song. In 1980, the U.S. launches a mission to rescue American hostages in Iran, but fail. Eight U.S. service members were killed. In 1982, American Idol winner Kelly Clarkson is born. In 1986, the movie Crocodile Dundee, starring Paul Hogan and Linda Kozlowski, premieres in Australia and becomes the highest grossing film of the year in the United States. I love that movie. In 1989, the state of Massachusetts declares today as New Kids on the Block Day. So there you go. In 1990, the Hubble telescope is launched into Earth orbit and the pictures it gives us are amazing. Also in 1990, West and East Germany agree to merge their currency and economies beginning July 1st. In 1990 as well, Grunard Island in Scotland is officially declared free of the anthrax disease after being quarantined for the last 48 years. In 1991, at the 26th Academy of Country Music Awards, Garth Brooks and Reba McIntyre win. In 1993, at Farm Aid 6 held in Ames, Iowa, performers included Willie Nelson, John Mellencamp, Neil Young, Johnny Cash, Martina McBride, Bruce Hornsby, Brian Adams, Ringo Starr, and Dwight Yoakam, among others. In 1995, a package bomb, eventually linked to the Unabomber, blows up, killing Gilbert B. Murray. In 1996, at the 31st Academy of Country Music Awards, Brooks and Dunn, Alan Jackson, and Patti Loveless win. Also in 1996, today was the highest scoring baseball game in 17 years. The Minnesota Twins, 24, and the Detroit Tigers, 11. And I was there. In 2003, North Korea announces that they have nuclear weapons. Oh joy. In 2004, Estee Lauder passes away in Manhattan. But I bet she smelled great right up to the end. Also in 2004, the United States lifts economic sanctions imposed on Libya 18 years ago. In 2005, Joseph Ratzinger is inaugurated as Pope Benedict XVI. In 2013, in the worst building collapse in history, 1,129 people die in Bangladesh. In 2018, U.S. President Donald Trump hosts his first state dinner ever for visiting French President Emmanuel Macron. Also in 2018, streaming music services overtake worldwide sales of CDs and vinyl for the first time. In 2018 as well, Golden State Killer suspect Joseph D'Angelo is arrested and charged with eight murders after having been identified through genealogy websites. In 2021, 82 COVID patients die in a fire at a hospital in Baghdad, Iraq, and 100 more are injured. That just seems crazy unfair. And lastly, also in 2021, Joe Biden becomes the first U.S. president to officially recognize that the killing of Armenians in the Ottoman Empire was genocide. Of course it was. Hey, thanks for listening to today's episode. I really appreciate it. Again, I've got many more in front of you, and you need to subscribe to my channel to know what more is coming. Thanks. Talk to you tomorrow.